Oh my god. Alright guys, so this is wilderness mode on Don't Starve Together. And I decided earlier today, it's it was what, like, eight hours, no, almost nine hours ago, I decided I was going to try to set up something that made a really basic AI, as in, it, it wasn't, I, I wouldn't even call it artificial intelligence, I just basically made my computer play Don't Starve for me, and I had invincibility on so I wouldn't die or anything, but I'm really impressed at how much it has walked through because when I start, where did I start off actually? Hang on. I'm gonna try to. Okay, so I started off like right here. This is where I started off. And I watched the AI for a few minutes, and in like a couple minutes, it ended up over here. So that's how far it got in a few minutes, and then I kind of just left it there. But in about 8 hours and 45 minutes, it has gotten this much of the map. It has walked through this much of the map. It's probably at least a third of it. I'm honestly impressed that it took that much. Basically all I did is I put a heavy object on my F key and my space. That's all I did. And I'm over here, got a present. That's pretty cool, but I like it took me a minute. I had to figure out where I was. You can see my inventory is full of rot, which is kind of completely useless, but I'm guessing that was food that, or at least perishable items that I'd picked up that are no longer usable. Jeez, I have a lot of it. Okay. That is. Oh, I have spider eggs? Wow. I must have attacked some spiders. Like, I, I kind of wish I was able to record all this, but I don't think that would be that would be forever. I mean, I might stream something like this at some point, because that would be kind of interesting, but... Like, look at... I have, like, all this random stuff, which is kind of cool. I have way too much rot. I think I should set it on fire. You know what? Yeah, actually, I'm just going to give it to the dragonfly, because I think we're pretty close to where that is. But I'm just amazed at how much just holding... Basically getting holding down the F key and the... Why do I not have grass? Oh, I do have grass. Okay. Literally just holding down... There we go. Don't need that. Oh, man. Okay, well now I have no more rot. Is this ashes? Where did I get the ashes from? I must have fought the dragonfly or something, which is not surprising at all. Um, but yeah, so I'm honestly pretty impressed. Are those gonna catch on fire or do I have to? Are all gonna catch on fire? Please. Come on. We're gonna stand here and be on fire. But yeah, so Oh whatever, they'll catch on fire eventually. Um there we go. But yeah, so I mean I'm just gonna assume based on what I've seen what I'm seeing here that I must have beat the crap out of a lot of spiders, a lot of hounds. A lot of bees. And... Yeah. I mean, I guess that must have been what happened, because... Yeah, I have no <laughs> idea. But that's kind of cool. I'm really impressed with how much it did. And I mean, this video is kind of me just rambling on about how my computer played Don't Starve and how it walked around a lot more than I thought it would. Like, that's, that's pretty impressive that the computer was able to take up that much of the map. I'm pretty damn impressed. 
Oh, is the pig king in the middle? That's pretty nice. That's really nice. That's really cool, actually. Just because that's, like, incredibly convenient, I'm probably gonna keep this map, even though it's kind of old at this point. Because that's really nice to have the pig king in the middle. That's normally not how world generation goes up. So, anyway, I'm going to see what I got. It's probably going to be a chest because, yeah. Yep. 